I've got a 2014 F-150 that I just bought a remote start for and I'm going to show you step by step how to go about doing that. Things you're going to need are a laptop. You're going to need Forescan, which is a piece of software used to read this scan tool. Uh, this one with the switch is a good one to get. You can get it on eBay, Amazon. Um, here's the kit. You receive the wire to connect the module to the truck. Um, some adhesive that connects the module um, under to the dashboard. And you have a key, which I already have pre-cut, so you'll need to do that as well. First thing you need to do is pull off this little side compartment. Comes off pretty easy and identify uh, there's a little plug underneath this sensor I'll show you where it's at it's right under that sensor there that plug right there so you're gonna connect this wire into that plug okay so you see these two tabs here? You'll actually have them facing up toward the roof of your truck. And there you go. And these little tabs, um, they fit into various places in here just to get rid of some of the slack. You can see right here um, a place you can put that tab to get rid of that slack. All right. The other end just goes right in this uh, module, plugs right in like this. Adhesive double-sided so you can just stick the adhesive right here on the back of your the back of your uh, glove compartment just mount it so your wire has enough room when you close it you can get rid of the slack So now your truck has the ability to send and receive the signal for your remote start. Okay. Now, you're going to need to put your scan tool into uh, your OBD2 port which is located just under your steering wheel. And get on your laptop. Um, you'll have to pair them together and download the software. You can get the free trial or you can pay for it. Um, I just paid for it for a year, it's like $40. So, pretty good deal. You're gonna wanna turn your truck to the on position. It's booting up here. Checking Bluetooth. Okay. So this is what your screen should look like when you start up Forescan. If you've used it before, you're pretty used to it. It just says uh, it connected to the ELM 327 adapter and it found my truck. F-150. And just click yes. And 
and it goes through all the systems and it asks you if you have a switch which I do have a switch let me go ahead and flip it and click yes then I flip the switch We'll check the rest of the systems here. All right. In the service functions, which is that little wrench, you'll see these. Okay. So after you click that uh, little chip looking thing underneath the wrench you'll see these options come up you're going to go to body control module that's what that stands for bdycm module configuration as built format you click on that and when it's highlighted you come down here to the play button and it tells you to change the switch so change the switch hit ok and it tells you that uh, if you do it wrong, you could really screw things up. So hit OK. And it reads all your blocks. And it's going to give you some options to write new blocks. Now, I've already uh, changed my parameters here, but I'll show you where you need to go. Um, go to 726-1901, which is right there. And when you don't have remote start enabled, it's going to say either 0047 or 0048. So mine said 0048. I changed it to 0148. So basically add it to 01 and uh, 48 or 47, whatever yours had it on there. And click right. Um, that will change your um, your system to receiving a remote start. So it'll enable it and should work after that. All right. So mine's been enabled. Let's see what it does. Press this key twice. Actually, press lock on this key then this twice and it starts up press it once and it'll turn it off there you go and that's how you install a remote start on a 2009 to 2014 f-150